When you think about Japan, your mind probably conjures up images of vibrant anime, futuristic robots, dazzling neon lights, charming cafes, and those incredibly well-stocked convenience stores. These are the things that most tourists can't wait to experience when they touch down in the land of the rising sun. But you know what? Japan has a darker side a side that goes beyond the kawaii culture and picturesque landscapes. Believe it or not, there's a whole different kind of tourism thriving in Japan, one that's not for the faint of heart. For those of you who crave spine-tingling thrills and spine-chilling experiences that will haunt your thoughts long after you've left, Japan's got a host of sinister spots just waiting to be explored. In this video, we're exploring the dark side of Japan where we'll introduce you to 10 places that are anything but ordinary. So if you're ready to step into the shadows and uncover the country's creepiest and most unsettling secrets, stick around and join us on this unforgettable journey through the eerie and mysterious side of Japan. Our first spotlight lands on Hashima Island. Now, this place may look like your average abandoned island, but trust us, there's more to it than meets the eye. Back in the day, undersea coal mining was very popular in the Nagasaki area, but with the rise of petroleum and coal running low, the residents of Hashima Island decided it was time to pack up and leave. Miners and their families hightailed it out of there within just three months of the mines shutting down. They left behind eerie remnants of a bustling community, apartments, schools, and even a hospital. Fast forward nearly 40 years to 2009, and the island suddenly became a hot spot for tourists eager to witness the decayed city in all its haunting glory. Now, you might be wondering, what's the big deal? Well, Hashima Island's fame isn't just about being abandoned. It's got a dark history that's like a magnet for curious visitors. Back in the 1930s and 1940s, Japan forcefully brought in thousands of Korean and Chinese people to work in the mines on this very island, and the stories of their treatment were downright inhumane. It's these haunting tales that lure tourists in like flies to honey, wanting to see this historical site for themselves. Up next, we are going into the chilling enigma of Okigahara, better known as the Sea of Trees in Japan, or the infamous suicide forest to the rest of the world. Now, we are not here to sensationalize, but there's a dark tale to tell about this place. Recently, Okigahara grabbed international attention when a YouTuber filmed a distressing discovery inside the forest, a victim's body. Understandably, the locals aren't thrilled with the forest's newfound popularity. With a surge in suicides here, some believe it's left an eerie, paranormal energy lingering among the trees, casting an ominous shadow over the entire woodland. But let us be clear, this is not your typical tourist destination. Okigahara demands more than just curiosity. It requires a strong stomach and a sharp sense of direction. If you ever decide to venture into this dark and haunting place, make sure someone knows your whereabouts and come prepared for whatever unsettling sights you may encounter deep within this sprawling forest. Next, we venture into another one of Japan's dark corners the Fukushima Forbidden Zone, specifically the eerie town of Tomioka. If you found Hashima Island intriguing, you will like this one too. Tomioka's story begins with a catastrophic earthquake and tsunami that triggered a devastating nuclear power plant meltdown. The result? A mass exodus of almost 15,830 residents, and very few ever dared to return. In fact, it's highly unlikely that much of this town will ever see residents again. Most of its buildings are patiently waiting their turn to meet the wrecking ball. Now, here's where things get spine-tingling. If you're audacious enough to risk the lingering radiation, Tomioka offers a truly unsettling experience. Only the elderly have the courage to return, and they do so with a unique perspective. They believe they'll likely meet their maker due to old age before the radiation has a chance to harm them. Next, we're shifting gears a bit from the darker side of Japan to a place that holds a somber and powerful message. We're talking about the atomic bomb dome in Hiroshima, a symbol that speaks volumes about resilience and the quest for peace. This haunting structure is not just a building, it's a symbol of what Hiroshima represents, a heartfelt prayer for world peace. The atomic bomb dome stands as a testament to the indomitable human spirit, having not only survived the atomic bomb, but also the relentless march of time. It's a living reminder of the tragic 
tragic war that claimed countless Japanese lives. Situated within the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, the atomic bomb dome stands frozen in time, just as it was after that fateful day when the first atomic bomb in human history fell upon Hiroshima. Now, it may not send shivers down your spine like some of our previous destinations, but the history it carries and the lives that were forever altered by that bomb make it a place of profound reflection and remembrance. Let's talk about something that might make your skin crawl. The Maguro Parasitological Museum Now, if you're the kind of person who gets the heebie-jeebies at the mere thought of creepy crawlies or the idea of something living inside you, this place is just for you. Imagine a museum that's all about parasites, bugs, and the weird things that go bump inside your body. At the Maguro Parasitological Museum, they're all about education, so get ready for a dose of the unsettling. If you're a visual learner, you're in luck, because they've got a whopping 300 preserved specimens on display for you to gaze upon in all their creepy glory. But hey, if reading's more your style, they've got you covered with a research library that boasts a staggering 60,000 parasite specimens. 5,000 books, and a whopping 50,000 papers all about, you guessed it, parasites. Prepare yourselves for a journey to the eerie and enigmatic Okunoan Cemetery, a place where darkness is like an old friend. Located deep within a forest that's over a thousand years old, this sprawling necropolis is a unique world of its own. Picture this. Over 200,000 deceased Buddhist monks lie at rest here. Each grave holds a special place in the two kilometers of sacred land where these monks are destined to meditate for eternity. Now, if you're thinking this cemetery is impressive during the day, just wait until you experience it by night. The atmosphere undergoes a spine-tingling transformation. The paths may not always be well lit, and visitors have reported some downright eerie happenings around the graves. Built in 1906, this circular house of learning served as an elementary school for nearly three decades until it mysteriously shut its doors around 1975. But here's the spine-tingling twist. Instead of meeting the wrecking ball or a renovation crew, the building remains frozen in time, just as it was during its educational heyday. Step inside, and you'll find dusty rooms where desks and chairs patiently wait for the laughter of children to fill them once more. But there's more to this place than meets the eye. The round schoolhouse of Hokkaido has earned quite a reputation, not just in Japan, but across the globe. Countless individuals who've dared to enter have reported spine-tingling paranormal experiences within its walls. Local legends speak of strange lights and eerie sounds emanating from the nearby forest or the schoolhouse itself, adding to the mystique of this likely haunted building. So, if you're up for a ghostly adventure, the round schoolhouse in Hokkaido might just be your next stop. Our final destination on this dark tour is the spine chilling Old Chusetsu Tunnel in Fukuoka. This is one of Japan's most notorious haunted tunnels, and it's sure to give you the creeps. Now, it's important to note that this tunnel is no longer in service. It's closed off to the public, but just standing by the entrance is said to be a hair-raising experience. Even those adventurous enough to attempt the tunnel's eerie depths have reported hearing spine-tingling, wailing voices that have made them think twice about venturing inside. But for the bravest souls who do dare to make the journey, it's physically doable, but it's creepy and spooky in equal measure. In fact, Japanese TV programs frequently feature paranormal segments that revisit the Chusetsu Tunnel, keeping it fresh in everyone's minds. And there you have it, fellow explorers of the unknown, our chilling journey through the dark side of Japan, from haunted tunnels to eerie abandoned places we've delved into the mysterious and the spine-tingling. But remember, Japan isn't just a land of ancient spirits and ghostly tales. It's a country rich with history, culture, and diverse attractions for every taste. Whether you're drawn to the paranormal or simply seeking adventure, Japan has it all. So don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more captivating journeys and intriguing stories from around the world. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the shadows, but never forget that the light shines even in the darkest of places. Take care and see you on the next adventure.